Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cooking with Maggie. Oh gosh, are you serious or are you stupid? <laughs> it's a three degrees outside, the car is frozen and it's freaking cold, really. But I'm cold, it's freaking cold. By the way, this is what Italian moms say to show their affection. Are you serious or are you stupid when they think you're acting silly? Well, since I'm not stupid, I am serious mom, I'm cold. And when it's cold, what can we do to warm up? Well, of course, we turn on the oven and make some bread, the Italian way. So let's bake some quick bread. Well, not really quick, but easy, because girls and guys, as you know, time needs some rising time. We need to be a bit patient and wait for two or three hours of rising time. So let's get right to it and make some ciabatta bread. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to be sure not to miss any new recipes. And if you want, you can even turn on subtitles in your own language. Take a large bowl, pour in some water at room temperature, put in the dry brewer yeast and mix for a second. Add some extra virgin olive oil and a bit of honey. Kids, honey is super sticky. Now let's stir for a few seconds and we can start at the flour, little by little. Don't hurry up. Let's get our hands dirty and remember, hands are your best tool to knead bread. And repeat again, add some flour, mix and stir. That's the secret. You'll feel the dough growing under your fingers. When you're halfway through the kneading and you've used up half of your flour, it's time to add the salt. Not before, not after. The dough is ready. Put some flour at the bottom of the bowl and then put the dough back in and cover it with some flour, but not too much. It's now rising time, so cover your bowl with cling film and put it in the oven off, but the light must be switched on and wait for two hours. You'll see the dough double or even triple its volume. In the meanwhile, prepare a baking tray with some baking paper on it. And when the dough is ready, you can put the flour, plenty of flour, on the worktop and slowly remove the dough from the bowl. Don't put too much pressure on the dough. If it's too sticky, put some flour. That will help you remove it from the bowl. Be delicate. Now it's the fun part. We cut off small parts from the dough. Each will be a small ciabatta bread. We cut it, we stretch it a little bit and we put it on the baking tray, like this. We always keep the dough well floured without touching it too much 
and delicately. When you cut the dough, use a strong and sharp cut. Then you gently stretch the bread and put another small ciabatta bread on the tray. That's our final tray. But we still need to wait half an hour for the dough to rise completely. In the meanwhile, we can turn on the oven and wait for the temperature to rise to 230 degrees Celsius or 446 degrees Fahrenheit. After 30 minutes in the oven, our bread is ready to be served. They are fresh and crispy. Hmm, I think I'll make myself a sandwich. Oh, it's hot, but I can't wait. So let's cut it. Let's put some salad, tomatoes, prosciutto. Yeah, prosciutto is never enough. Then mayonnaise, and here we go. That's our final bread basket, still hot and ready to be eaten. All the recipe details, such as quantities, uh, baking time, baking temperature, are in the descriptions below. Last but not least, let's taste it. Let me grab my sandwich. Well, of course, <laughs> it's light diet as usual. Homemade bread is easy to do, it doesn't take too much time. And it's impossible to go wrong because the recipe is very simple and delicious. It's too good. I want to taste it too. <laughs> My mother wants to have a taste. She surely doesn't mind the mayonnaise. You should see her eating the sandwich. <laughs> Mamma mia. So, what do you say, mom? How is it? <laughs> she seems to appreciate so guys and gals, that was my bread recipe. Hope to see you next time back on my channel and enjoy. See ya!